I recently heard the most intriguing piece of research about dark chocolate from Dr William Lee. So first we'll take a listen to that clip, and then we'll address the recent concerning reports that cocoa powder and chocolate were found to contain high levels of heavy metals such as lead and cadmium. So stay tuned till the end as Dr Michael Greger of NutritionFacts.org discusses this. If you take the really dark chocolate, like 73% cacao, the really dark chocolate, and you make it into a high flavanol hot chocolate drink, and you have it twice a day. This was the clinical study. They found in people who wound up actually having um, uh, drinking the hot chocolate twice a day over the course of a month, they doubled the number of stem cells compared to the people who didn't drink hot chocolate, right? And so, okay, so the question is, is that important? Well, when they measured their blood flow, they found that the blood flow was much vastly improved. Wow. The study Dr. Lee was referring to is this randomized control trial where they took 16 participants with coronary artery disease and gave them dark chocolate drinks with either a high or low flavanol content. And the researchers found that the high flavanol drinks caused a reduction in blood pressure and the number of something called circulating angiogenic cells, CACs, increased by twofold. And this is significant because these are the cells that are important for vascular repair and the maintenance of endothelial function. But what about cacao versus cocoa powder? Which is better? And more worryingly, what about these reports of heavy metal content? Well, let's hear now from Dr. Greger. So cacao powder is just kind of a, like a way to charge you more money for cocoa powder, basically. Technically, it, it's, it's processed at a lower temperature, but there's no evidence that that actually makes any difference. So should I be concerned about these heavy metals that have been found recently in cocoa products? Both Consumers Union, the nonprofit organization that publishes consumer reports, and Consumer Lab, which is like a for profit third party testing company, both of them found uh, high levels of metals like cadmium in certain brands of cocoa. This doesn't matter if you eat cocoa, you know, once in a while, you know, have like a chocolate king at a birthday party or something. But if you are eating cocoa, like I recommend you eat cocoa, like a tablespoon a day to increase muscle mass and all these other wonderful things it does, well, then you really should try to get low-toxin cocoa. And so, you know, you can go online and look through your favorite brands and see the one lowest, the one that I use, is just the Target generic brand cocoa. So the tested lowest. Um, so that's the one I found in Forsyth. I just got back from Europe. I'm like, just go to Target. They're like, what? I don't really know I'm Target over there. But you can find, you know, they tested cocos for all over the world, and you can just find one you can buy um, that has low levels. 